Hello, my friend. Welcome to your sleep story. My name is Stephen Dalton. I'm an Irish storyteller, and it's my great privilege to be the voice that you listen to as you go to sleep tonight. Tonight, I continue my series about old trades, and this old trade is quite close to my heart, as it is about a weaver in the county of Donegal in Ireland. I, in fact, once knew a very special weaver who lived in that part of the world, and I would visit her often. And so the weaver we will meet tonight is just as special, but also can weave dreams. I hope you like this story, and maybe in the comments, share some of your dreams with me and the community. If you want the video to end at a particular point, YouTube allows you to set a timer in the settings. And don't forget to disable autoplay to avoid ads from upcoming videos. Okay, let's do the relaxation session now, which will take a few minutes before tonight's sleep story. I'm going to count down from 10 to 1. And as I do, allow yourself to let go more and more. 10. Feel the support beneath you. The support of your bed. Or the floor. And the earth beneath that. Feel the constantness of the earth supporting you. Allow that surety, that solidity, to allow you to release a little more now. to sink into this moment a bit more. Nine. You are safe. All is okay. All is well. Allow my voice to be a point of safety for you. Allow my voice to be an anchor. An anchor that keeps you in a safe space. Know that my voice will only ever bring you to safe places. Eight. Feel into your body now. Notice where you might be holding. Anywhere that might be tense. Maybe your feet. Maybe your hands. Maybe your face. Maybe your belly. Just release it all now. Your body has worked hard for you today. It's time for it to rest. It deserves rest. Seven. The day is done. Whatever has been, has been. Whatever will be, will be. All you have is now. 
and thoughts about the day that just was, or the days that are to come, don't serve you right now. So allow that to enable you to settle into this moment more now. Six. This is your moment. You have nowhere to be. Nowhere to go. The only place you need to be is here, enjoying this cozy sleep story and the sound of my voice. Five. You deserve rest. You deserve sleep. We all do. So allow that fact to help you to let go a little more now. Four. Perhaps allow yourself to feel a little gratitude now. Gratitude for this moment. Gratitude for the ability to rest. Gratitude for the simple things. Your breath. The shelter that you have tonight. the ability and the opportunity to switch off in a place of safety. Four, embrace the coziness of this moment, the coziness of lying down in a safe space, moving towards sleep, and the beautiful act of storytelling, the ability to listen to a cozy sleep story. Three. Begin to engage with your imagination now. Begin to see a wild and green place far in the northwest corner of Ireland. That beautiful island in the Atlantic Ocean. Begin to see a little cottage isolated from the rest of the world, far away from all that you know. Two, check in with your body again. Make sure you're not holding anywhere. Really release and allow yourself to sink a little deeper. One. Completely letting go now. As I tell you, tonight's sleep story. A long, long time ago, in a time long forgotten, in the wilds of Donegal in Ireland, there lived a woman that some knew as the Weaver. 
for she was indeed a weaver. A weaver of fine clothes, blankets, and hats. Using only the finest threads. But there was something else that she weaved. And few, only a few, mind you, knew her as the dream weaver. Her cottage was way out by the windy sea and looked out upon the wild Atlantic Ocean. It was difficult to reach, and so those who visited her knew they would have to work hard in order to meet with her and achieve their dreams. Here was where the vast Atlantic met the land, and the dream weaver's cottage stood as a solitary figure against the wild Irish landscape. Constructed from stone and thatch, it was as much a part of the environment as the rugged cliffs around it. The cottage, with its modest little windows, offered glimpses of the tumultuous sea beyond. The windows weren't too big, mind you, so as to keep the heat in, in this often harsh environment. Within these walls, the air is rich with the smell of wool and natural dyes, a comforting aroma that fills the space. Central to the cottage, is the dream weaver's loom, the contraption on which she weaves, an aged yet meticulously cared for piece of equipment handed down from her mother and her mother before her and her father before her made of polished wood and sturdy ropes and positioned near the hearth. In the daylight, the loom is illuminated, highlighting the vibrant threads that await the dream weaver's touch. Now the dream weaver's approach to her craft is one of deep focus and deliberate action. She selects her materials with care, drawing from a collection of threads, each one chosen for its texture and color, and of course, derived from the sheep that graze in nearby fields, and colored with pigments made from the local landscape. Weaving for the dream weaver is a deep meditation a blend of her skill, intuition, and of course the narrative that she wishes to weave. Each movement of the shuttle is a considered stroke, 
adding to the emerging fabric on the loom. Her hands, experienced and precise, guide the creation of fabric that is more than mere cloth, but something much deeper. The dream weaver works both day and night, and there is something about the night that she truly loves. She does, in a way, feel more connected to those who have gone before her, to those who passed down this skill. She feels connected to her land as well, the land that she has hardly ever left. She loves this place, her little cottage, which always stands ready to welcome those drawn to the dream weaver's unique gift hidden away on the wild shores of Donegal. One misty morning, when the dew still clings to the grass, and the world seems hushed, a young mother sets out from her small village in the heart of Donegal. Her journey to the dream weaver's cottage is driven by a simple, yet profound wish to find sleep, both for her restless child and her weary self. With her child wrapped closely against her chest, she follows the winding path that leads away from the village through fields dotted with grazing sheep, their coats heavy with moisture. The path narrows as it delves into a copse of ancient oaks their branches, the canopy overhead, filtering the early light into a soft, dappled pattern on the forest floor. The air here is cool and fresh, filled with the scent of earth and growing things. The mother walks with purpose, her steps quiet on the leaf-littered path. Each step taking her closer to the hope of restful nights. As she emerges from the cover of the trees, the sea comes into view. Its vast expanse, a reminder of the world's endless wonders and mysteries. The dream weaver's cottage perched on the edge of the land where sea meets shore, appears as a haven, its smoke 
curling lazily into the morning sky. The mother's heart lifts at the sight and a sense of calm overcomes her. She approaches the door and as if the dream weaver knew she was coming, she opens it before it is knocked. The dream weaver greets the young woman with a gentle smile. She has eyes like the sea, the dream weaver. Eyes as blue as the ocean that sits by her house. Eyes that are kind and wise and that sit within her lined face. Lined from many years of smiling and kindly welcoming those in need. No one could say what age the dream weaver is. She does have long gray hair, but she is in a way timeless, as if she has always been here inviting the young mother inside. The dream weaver sits and listens with compassion as the mother shares her wish, her voice soft and tired. In the warmth of the cottage, surrounded by the dream weaver's work, of vibrant threads and fabrics. The mother feels a peace she has not known for some time. The dream weaver, with careful consideration, selects threads of soft blues and tranquil greens, colors that speak of calm and rest. Now sitting at her loom, the weaver begins to weave. Her movements, deliberate and soothing, a silent promise of sleep woven into the very fabric of the peace she creates. The mother watches. A sense of tranquility growing within her as the dream weaver works. There is magic here. Not in the sense of spells and incantations, but in the deep understanding of needs and desires, and the ability to translate them into something tangible. When the peace is complete, the dream weaver hands it to the mother, a gift of dreams and the promise of sleep. With gratitude, the mother takes her leave. 
the journey back, seeming lighter, the weight of her weariness eased by the encounter. Some days later, on a day when heavy clouds hang low in the sky, promising rain, a man whose heart feels as tumultuous as the impending storm sets out towards the dream weaver's cottage. Feeling adrift in the world, with a soul seeking direction, he embarks on the journey through the rain-soaked landscape of Donegal. And as he walks, the heavens open and a steady rain begins to fall, drenching the earth and blurring the lines between land and sky. His path takes him across meandering fields where the grass glistens with raindrops each blade bending under the weight of the water. The man pulls his coat tighter around him, shielding himself from the chill of the wind that sweeps across the open land. The rain relentless in its downpour, seems to mirror his internal struggle. But despite the weather, there is a determination in his stride, a need to find solace that propels him forward He, too, enters the shelter of the oak forest. The canopy of leaves above offers slight respite from the rain. Here, amidst the ancient trees, his mind begins to quiet, the first steps towards peace, taking root. Emerging from the forest, the sight of the dream weaver's cottage, with its smoke rising gently into the grey sky, offers a beacon of hope. The man approaches, his heart beating with a mix of apprehension and hope. And as normal, the dream weaver is at the door before it is knocked. And when the door opens, the man is met with the dream weaver's serene gaze, an unspoken understanding passing between them. Inside, the cottage is a cocoon of warmth, 
the air rich with the scent of wool and the promise of comfort. The dream weaver invites the man to sit by the fire where the crackling flames cast a soothing glow over the room. As he shares his feelings of being lost, of seeking purpose, or a sign to guide him. The dream weaver listens with empathy, her presence a calming force in the storm of his emotions. With thoughtful consideration, the dream weaver selects threads of deep, earthy tones and vibrant greens, colors that speak of growth and grounding. She begins to weave her skilled hands rhythmically moving, seeming in some way to capture the essence of the man's journey, a path through uncertainty towards clarity and strength. The man watches, a sense of peace coming about him as he observes the dream weaver at work. In the rhythmic movement of the loom and the emerging pattern of the weave he finds a reflection of his own search for direction. The process, both mesmerizing and meditative, offers him a moment of clarity, a realization that perhaps being lost is simply a part of finding one's way. The weaver presents him with the finished piece, and with a heart lighter than when he arrived, the man thanks the dream weaver. This, he feels, is a reminder that even in the midst of uncertainty, there is beauty and purpose to be found. He steps back into the world with a renewed sense of hope and direction. The rain outside, no longer a symbol of turmoil, but of renewal and of life's continuing cycle. Some time later, on a night when the sky roils with storm clouds and the wind howls through the land of Donegal, 
a young couple embarks on a journey. Between them hangs a silence, heavy and charged. A contrast to the storm that they walk through. Their decision to seek out the dream weaver is a shared bid for peace between them. Their journey to the cottage is a battle against the elements. Their small lantern struggling to pierce the darkness that envelops the path. Rain lashes against them, driven by gusts of wind that seem determined to push them back with every step they take. Yet, as they draw nearer to the dream weaver's haven, there's an unspoken shift between them. The shared struggle against the storm the shared determination to find the cottage begins to bridge the gap that has grown between them. In the face of nature's power, their personal grievances seem smaller less insurmountable. When they finally arrive, soaked and breathless, at the dream weaver's door, they are greeted by a warmth that neither of them quite expected. The dream weaver welcomes them with a quiet understanding. Her calm presence, a balm to their frayed nerves. She listens to their story, to the words spoken and unspoken with a compassion that eases the tension from their shoulders. Inside the cozy interior, lit by the soft glow of firelight and surrounded by the dream weaver's work, the couple feels the storm between them begin to fade away. It is replaced by a sense of tranquility, a peace that they have not felt in a long time. The dream weaver selects threads of soft blues and gentle grays, colors that speak of calm skies after a storm, and begins her work as they watch her weave the couple finds themselves drawn closer. 
their hands meeting in the space between them. The rhythmic sound of the loom. The gentle clack of the shuttle passing back and forth becomes a meditative backdrop to their reconciliation. In the pattern emerging under the dream weaver's skilled hands, they see a reflection of their own story, complex, sometimes tangled, but ultimately beautiful in its unity. With hearts lighter than they have been in months, the couple thank the dream weaver and go back towards their home, walking united, hand in hand, more able to weather the storm that still surrounds them, because now they are united. On a gentle, rainy day, when the world of Donegal seems wrapped in a soft grey shroud, an old lady sets out on a solitary journey. Her steps are slow and measured. She is a lady who feels lonely and has heard of the promise of solace found in the stories of the dream weaver. Her path meanders through her village, past stone cottages with smoke curling from their chimneys and into the open countryside. Raindrops cling to her cloak. A fine mist that seems to blur the edges of the world, making the familiar seem new and mysterious. As she navigates the lush landscape of Donegal, the old lady reflects on the life she's led, the love she's known, and the inevitable passage of time. Yet with each step towards the dream weaver's cottage, there's a burgeoning sense of hope. When it finally emerges, the dream weaver's cottage is a beacon of warmth, and the old lady is welcomed inside. The dream weaver greets her with a kindness that feels like a balm 
to her weary heart with few words she conveys her wish her voice soft but clear to feel connected to weave the threads of her remaining years with warmth and companionship. In the dream weaver's steady gaze, the old lady senses a deep understanding an empathy that transcends words. They sit together by the fire. The dream weaver listening intently as the old lady shares stories of her past her joys and sorrows. And there's a magic in the telling, a release in the sharing with someone who truly listens. The dream weaver selects threads of rich, warm colors, each one chosen for its vibrancy and warmth. She begins to weave, her hands moving with a grace that mesmerizes the old lady. And in the pattern that takes shape, there is companionship, stories shared around a fire, laughter, and the presence of loved ones. It's a weaving not just of dreams, but of memories, and the promise of moments yet to come. As the old lady watches, the loneliness that has clung to her begins to loosen its grip. What the weaver has woven speaks of a life full of complexity and beauty, of connections that endure beyond absence. And when the dream weaver presents her with the finished piece, it's with a sense of having been truly seen, understood, and cherished. Leaving the cottage, the old lady carries with her not just a physical representation of her hopes, but a renewed spirit. Her journey back is reflective, filled with a new sense of peace and a quiet joy in the knowledge that even in her later years, there can be new beginnings 
and the warmth of connection. In the quiet of the night, each individual who sought out the dream weaver finds themselves wrapped in the comfort of their own spaces, their hearts lighter and their spirits lifted by their encounters with the dream weaver. Each one of them sleeps deeply now, and they dream dreams they never knew they could dream, dreams of peace, dreams of hope, and dreams that bring a smile to their sleeping faces. The dream weaver sleeps as well, sleeps in her little cottage by the stormy sea, safe in the knowledge that she has helped so many to weave their dreams into existence.